Hello everyone, it's Angela here today, again explaining another linguistic Olympiad problem. This problem is in ancient Greek and in similar styles to the previous video, Komi Languages. If you didn't watch that, I really recommend you to go watch it for a more detailed explanation of finding out word meanings. With this problem, I'm not going to explain every single bit because it's basically mix and matching to find out word meanings, which is already demonstrated in my previous video. So how can you start to find word meanings is by comparing the phrase King of the Kingdom and the Kingdom of Hope. But what I'm going to spend a little bit of time explaining today is the word structure and sentence structure. So we need to take a little bit more time to discover the sentence structure. When we look at the first and fourth sentence in blue, the only word that is the same is the verb brought. So easily we can find that in ancient Greek, the verb is positioned at the end of the sentence, shown above in purple. Now, the next part will be very helpful if you know a little bit about linguistics, word positions and declensions, which is a variation of a form of a noun, pronoun or adjective by its grammatical case number and gender identified. But without it, we can still do this question, which is what's fascinating about linguistic Olympiad problems. When we compare the phrase city-state in ancient Greek, shown above in green, we find that in different word positions, the ending changes. So we then learn that in, in the positions listed above, A, B, C and D, the word ending changes. Now you might say, what about the words in pink boxes? I didn't list all of them, but they appear so many times. So we know that they actually don't have any meanings and are very likely to be grouped with nouns. They are actually articles, but you don't need to know that. If we take a closer look, when there's one noun, there's one article. But when there's two nouns, there are two articles. So the link between articles and nouns are very clear. Furthermore, if we look at the phrase meaning of the hope and the phrase kingdom of the hope in yellow, word D changes, the first article changed. Word C didn't change and the second article didn't change. Therefore, we know that if there's one noun, the article changes according to it. If there's two nouns, the first article changes according to the second noun, and the second article changes according to the first noun. Therefore, everything you know to solve this problem is shown above. And now you just need to substitute the words in with the correct order from the above. So with this problem here that seems so hard, we can easily solve it by breaking out it down to steps. <laughs> it would be best if you can try to work it out yourself first and check the answers with me. If you have no ideas, no clues at all, you can listen to my video to get the general idea of how to do this question. Subscribe for more videos on Linguistics Olympiad. Thank you.